What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and this is currently running on One UI 6.0 Beta 2 and Samsung has just pushed out the Beta 3 for the Galaxy S22 series. Now, let me just go to these settings here. Let's go to software update. I'll tap on last updated. As you can see, this is a brand new version. The version number is uh, ZWJO. And you can see the size here, it's almost about 1 GB. It's 927.44 MB. And the security patch here is for November 2023, which is fantastic. Now on the Galaxy S22 series, we are still running on the uh, October security patch. But now on the S22 Ultra, as well as the Fold devices, uh, which are running on One UI 6.0 Beta, we have already received the November security patch, which is just amazing. Now, as soon as we get it on the S23 series. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll post a video about that. But for now, let's focus on this particular update. This is the uh, beta 3 for the Galaxy S22 series. And in the change log, you can see there is nothing much mentioned here. There are some important bugs which have been fixed. First thing they have fixed is the improved camera operation stability. So if you have been facing any issues with the camera in terms of the images or video recording, uh, this update should fix it. As it says, the camera operation stability has been improved. The second one is improved Samsung Pass auto completion malfunction. Then it says improved overall software stability, including app crashes. So generally app crashes is something which we experience when we install the beta versions, especially with the first couple of beta that is common. We will be experiencing these app crashes and that will be fixed with the new updates. Now there is no new features being added with this update. It is just the software stability and uh, the operating system stability as well as some of the bugs which have been fixed. Now with the beta one and two, I did not really face any major challenges. There were some app crashes and some lags. Even after this update, I do see some lags here and there in terms of animations uh, but uh, otherwise the phone is running pretty smoothly uh, let me open a couple of apps here let me open the phone app let's open a gallery let's open the settings clock you can see it's pretty smooth calendar messages uh, let's go to the recent application you can see it scroll through very very smoothly uh, the animations looks pretty smooth now. As we have already seen the animations on S23 Ultra, which is currently on the stable version, the animations have been uh, fixed to some extent. I would still prefer a bit more smoother animations like the iOS. Uh, that is my preference. I'm not sure about you guys. Some of you guys like these snappier animations. Samsung could adjust the animation scale. Of course, we do have that option in the developer settings, but still, if Samsung could provide an option for 1.25x in the animation and transition scale, uh, which is currently not available, by the way, uh, that would be really great and we could see a bit more smoother animations for the uh, Galaxy phones. Uh, that's subjective again. You guys let me know which, uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the current animations on the uh, One UI 6.0 or uh, a bit more smoother animations like the iOS? Do let me know in the comment section. Now coming to the battery performance on the phone, uh, it is good, uh, not as great as the S23 series of course, but this phone has been doing pretty good. Uh, there's nothing much changed after the beta version. I still get the similar SOT on the beta version as well, uh, how it was before, but I'm definitely expecting some improvements once we get the stable version. I hope Samsung fixes the battery uh, issues with this device. Uh, I don't think many of you guys are facing any battery issues, but uh, I would still prefer to have S23 Ultra when it comes to battery performance. That phone is uh, the beast, I would say, uh, because it can last more than a day. Even this phone can last more than a day. However, a bit of heavy usage can drain the battery within a day's time. Otherwise, this phone is fantastic. Uh, I've been using this for some time now and uh, uh, there is no uh, major issues with this phone on the beta version let me know your thoughts in the comment section how is it going for you drop a comment that's all i want to share with you guys if you are interested in this particular wallpaper i have left a link for that in the description you can go ahead and download it while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye